Um, it's Leanne again. How are you all? I'm back. Um, and I was following along with uh, Wanda Van Borgen, I think she is, from Holland. And she was making some little angels. She has a, a live class on every Sunday. So if you look up Wanda Van Borgen from Holland, um, you'll see she has a live class on Sundays. Now she was making these little angels. As you can see, can you see them? That's one. This is another one. I don't think you're seeing that very well. Let me just use this. Little angel. Here's another little one. And here's another little one. Right, now I thought I'd just show you how to do them. Uh, because they're a very simple, uh, quick project. And um, I thought that they were really good. Now you do need one of these um, sticks with the flat part on the end. Can you see that? It's got the flat part. I don't know how long these are. Let me have a look, look for you. These ones are five centimeters or in inches is two. So anyway, let's start now. A lot of people who do beading have these mats down. Now these mats are made out of felt. Um, I have two here. And it's, you can rest on it and it stops the beads from floating away. So we're going to start with the skirt. And the skirt is this tiny little yellow one here. And I'm going to put that on first so it looks like a skirt. Just like that. Looks like a little skirt. Yeah. And then I'm going to put the wings on. Oops, drop that. I'll have to pick that up. We we'll use these wings so we don't waste time. And there's the wings. Then we're going to put a head on, and I've got this beautiful blue iridescent pearl top would be good as a head, just like that. And then we're going to put a bead cap on. Now a small, smallish bead cap, one that can fit on the head, and there she is. Doesn't she look adorable? So it's a little tiny angel. Now these charms, you can put uh, lobster claps, clasps on them or whatever you like and hang them from wherever you like. Um, I have a project I'm going to do with them, um, but more about that later. Right, now we're going to have to use some tools. Now you need these multi-tools. They look a bit worse for wear because they were my husband's and we're going to bend it about 90 degrees about like that and then I'm going to come under that loop like that okay and then I'm going to twist it on itself like that and I'm going to change pliers and go for the small ones and hold it as tight as I can and I'm going to twist this piece I've got to make that loop which I've done like that you've made a little loop on the head now you've got this piece outstanding here that's sticking out can you see that 
and we're going to twist that right round the head where the bead cap is, we're going to twist it around. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do right now. Now you might have to keep moving it. That's one. I'm going to have to turn it around so I can get the other side. Two. Keep twisting it. Right. Now when you get it around, you, you want to just clamp it down a bit. And I don't get it quite clamped down. I'm just going to move it as much. I'll just try and move it a little bit closer. Just twist it on itself. And I'll just hold on to this part as well. And I'll try and try. Almost got it. Right. And now I'll just see if I can just clamp that down just one more time. Sitting up in the air. The other stick pins were very easy to do. They're more pliable. This one seems a little bit tougher. Right. Got it. And there she is. Isn't she adorable? See, and you just tap that loop in and then swing it round the top, just like that. Can you see that? There. So there's another one uh, for my collection. Hang on a minute, I'll just find those wings that I dropped. Now where are they? Oh yes, I see them. Right. Now we're going to do that one more time. We'll take our stick. We're going to put on a bottom flower cap this time. It's only a very small one. It's like that. It's very small. And then we're going to put on this beautiful glass bead, this green one, like that. Then we're going to put the wings on, like that. As you can see. Then we're going to put its head on, which is another glass green bead. There she is. And then we're going to put one of those caps on that we had on the bottom. Oops, I dropped it. Hang on a minute. I'll be back in one second. Let me just see if I can see it. Ooh, isn't it terrible? When you lose things. Um, right, just wait a sec. I'll be back in a sec. I'll just get another one. I nearly got it. Just got to get it out of my little case. Right, got it. Here we go. I just put on that bead cap. See how important it is to have a mat down. And there she is. Now we're going to do the same. We're going to Actually, I didn't do it the right way on that little one. Um, I'm going to do it how Wanda did it. Now she held it there and she went
90 degrees that way. Then she held that at 90 degrees. And she went back the other way. And then she twisted it around. Right. So you get the little loop like that. I'll just show you. See that? So you've got the little loop up here and then you've got the extra piece. Right, you've got to hold that loop. So you hold them with these pliers. Flat pliers, flat nose pliers. And then you want to twist this back around with this set, which is that set. I'm just going to turn that around so I can get to the other side of it. See what's happening with it. Um, right. I'll just use it the other way just for a second because I want that twist on the end. Oh, hang on a minute, I'm nearly there. But I better put these back in so I can get the shape. It's getting a little out of shape. Right, now I'm going to squeeze down that end, you know, it's just like a piece of end of the thread. You've got to flatten it, make sure it's all nice and neat and tidy. And I think I've done it. Right, here we go. And there's the other one. And there she is. With the loop on the top. Can you see the loop? Right. So that's another one. So we have the green one. That we just did. And the little yellowy blue one. Angel. Now there's three, six of them. Now I have a project I'm going to use them on, um, but I'll tell you in the future what it is. And uh, it's going to be a home decor or home decor project for my house. And um, I'll show you how I'm going to use them. So there you go, give it a go, it's very easy, a couple of beads, one of those straight pins, a few bead caps and some angel wings and you've got yourself some really, really cute little angels that are so adorable, they're little uh, beautiful little things, all different colours, anyway give it a go. Now. Um, if you come onto my channel, can you give me a thumbs up on some of my projects just for a little bit of encouragement? I really would appreciate it. Um, and um, please come over and see what I'm doing. Um, I'm a DIYer. I try everything. At the moment, I'm doing tomatoes in my garden and then I'm going to preserve them. Um, I think I'll show you that process, how I preserve them and that. Uh, with the help of my husband, of course. Um, and they're growing really well at the moment. Um, and I joined another channel called Kali Kim. Kali Kim. I think it's spelt C-A-L-I-K-I-M. And she gives you some really good tips on how to grow uh, good tomatoes. And uh, without getting those, you know how you get brownie stalks on them and that, and you get disease and that. 
she's got a little recipe there that uh, you, you can use that avoids that disease. Um, strengthens the tomatoes. Anyway, um, that's what I'm going to do. I've grown tomatoes for a long time now and I have uh, ones that jump up I know in my compost pile every time the warm weather heats up the tomatoes are in every single pot that I use the compost on <laughs> but they are I'll tell you what they're very prolific and they're very strong plants so I just keep reusing them and um, but I'm going to extend my growing to a few other things um, and stay tuned for that because I'm going to use pots that are collapsible um, but you'll be surprised at some of the things I'm going to use um, that's cheap and easy and you can move them around put them outside on your on your balcony or your um, oh, I've got two of them so what do you call them um, decks deckings and um, I just have a very small one out the back so I can get out there and I have a beautiful orchid growing and I think I'll take a photograph and show you the orchid um, my son lives next door and he hurt his back so he can't garden anymore and he gave me an orchid now it's bloomed for the very first time I've seen it in three years I don't know why it bloomed but it has and it's a yellowy color and it's quite pretty um, now stay tuned for another video on Demi, um, Shemi Dixon done a little book booklet um, I'll just show you that booklet um, here it is now she did this booklet now I just covered it in some art journaling paper that I painted and she did um, an envelope and he, as you can see here she's got the envelope as the cover and I put a bit of a stamp on it, a nice shell stamp and then you just sew in some pages, some white pages photocopy paper, paper. you cover it, a bit of washi tape and voila very very clever idea now if you want to use them for your little painting and morsels and things like that it's a very good idea or if you want to um, use it as a journal you know, say you went out on holidays or something you went to the beach because you got your stamp there and you can write down a few factoids that you found out or done uh, how long it took to get there how long it takes to get back the cost of your rooms your accommodation, take a little photo. Anyway, those books would be good for anything like that. Um, so I'm going to make one of them. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, see you in the next video. Bye for now.